Hello, welcome to part two of the uh, Chili Poly Tonic Poly update. I previously done a video about four days ago and um, got halfway through it and the screen somehow flipped upside down so I didn't notice it for a couple of days but now I have so I'm uh, going to do another video. So we'll be repeating a lot of stuff I've been saying. So the reason for my update was because I've reorganised my plants put them together instead of uh, you know all, all, the, all the different types together instead of apart it's fine that we're getting a lot of cross pollination going on uh, it's not a very good day today it just started to rain as you can probably hear anyway these are my scotch bonnets I still haven't done a harvest I did say about four days ago I was going to do it, but I haven't got around to doing it. Decent sized pods. They've also got spawnets at the top. Same one underneath, got squat spawnets. Scots bonnets are a little bit too hot for me, but they do taste really nice and they do smell very nice as well, especially in their, their raw state. It's actually mouth watering when I smell it, but nose watering when I eat it. On my previous video, I said I was going to um, start to insulate this polytunnel. So this has been started. I say I, it's my uh, father-in-law that's been doing it. Uh, so I've now got like a kind of a porchway going on. So if I spin it round, there's the original doors. And uh, just starting to insulate. And I will put in some sort of heating system. I've got a couple of uh, greenhouse radiators that I need to put in. Anyway, so uh, chocolate, um, sorry, chocolate habanero. Although, although they could be um, seven pot Douglas. It's just another one of my plants I didn't label up because I thought I'd be able to recognise what it was. Um, but if I was to take a guess, I'd say seven foot Douglas, but I don't know. Um, this bush down here has got hardly any red on it at all because I've just done a harvest on it yesterday. Um, was it yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. And they were Apache. They they seem to sell quite well, actually, the Apaches. I have to keep taking them off because I keep uh, selling out of them. Mirga scorpions. Mirga scorpions sell fairly well. Again, another another gorgeous smelling chili. Great in curries, but you have to be very careful because they are very spicy. You don't want to ruin your food. Another one over here. Another one up top. Quite nice looking pods really. I do find it a little bit strange because um, this is supposed to be a red Maruga plant. As you see they are red. Then you've got some that come through as orange. Another plant, another Maruga scorpion, sorry. 
Some of them seem to have the uh, Carolina Reaper tail. Um, and that might be because it got cross pollinated with the uh, Carolina Reaper, which I've since separated them now, so. But who knows, that might be a new, a new breed of chili. I'd like to say some of the seeds from them, Maruga Scorpions with the, with the tails. Um, mishmash here really, just some standard Thai chilies. That is uh, cayenne base, kind of a citrusy kind of taste. Very, very spicy. And kind of a nice looking plant. Down in the back, oh gosh, is, um, I believe these are habanero reds. Coming on the other side. Quite a few pods in the back there. Plant that's lopsided here, but um, I think it'll be all right for now. Uh, right in the back there, I don't know if I can zoom in. Zoom in, it's a uh, chocolate ghost. But there's no way I can get to them unless I move. About three or four pots. Sorry, zoom back out again. Uh, it's another chocolate ghost. But uh, it's not worth looking at that. I can't really see any ripe ones there, and they're a little bit difficult to see. Okay, going back above, we have um, Cheyenne. Quite a nice chili was was one of my favourites. Uh, the heat was was quite nice, but actually I've been eating chilies every day, of course, and the more of the hotter ones. So I'm kind of like used to the hot ones now. So these uh, Cheyennes, although they're quite nice, they're not really doing it for me now. Not hot enough. I've built up my uh, tolerance to chilies. Uh, Peruvian lemon lemon drop. Very nice with fish. It has I don't know if it's um, psychological, but has got kind of a lemon taste to it. Only only slightly, slightly citrusy. Uh, but definitely nice with fish. Perfect for a fish dish. <laughs> 